Hey guys, it's Allison. Welcome back to the Tiny Herd. So today I wanted to share some information with you guys on something that I am setting up and working on. So there has been some severe weather in our area lately. It's kind of the end of tornado season where I live, but the most severe weather that we've had so far this year has been in the last week. So I wanted to talk to you guys about having a pet emergency plan. So this would be like a shelter in place plan or a evacuation plan for something like a natural disaster or a fire or anything like that where you needed to get your pets out of their normal space and take them somewhere else because of, you know, something going on, whether that's like tornadoes in our area, or if you have something like earthquakes or forest fires or something like that, or just like a regular house fire. This is kind of the plan that we have in place to make sure that um, we can get our pets out, give us the best chance to get everybody out. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys what I'm doing. All right, actually quickly before I turn the camera around, let me just explain briefly our emergency plan and how it works. So first step is to have carriers ready. So I'm working on prepping all of our carriers. They're all around me here right now. So I'm prepping them all so that if there's any kind of emergency, we can just immediately put the pets in them. We don't have to worry about finding them, putting fleece in them, having them ready. They'll just be ready to go. So that's step one. Step two is knowing where we need to go. So in our case, most likely it's going to be like a tornado warning or something like that. So we are going to be going downstairs to our basement into the room that is against the concrete. So like away from windows and stuff. So that is our plan for that. If there was a fire, then obviously we would be getting out of the house. So that's step two, make sure you know where you're going. Um, the last part for me is to make sure that I have my emergency kit if I have time to grab it. So like if there's a tornado warning, then most likely I will have time to get all the animals quickly downstairs and also grab our emergency kit. So I'll show you guys my plan for grabbing our emergency kit since I don't keep it in like a bin or toolbox or anything like that with a handle. So I'll show you guys that as well. I also like to have all of our pet information in one place. So like my pet care binder, which I'm gonna be showing you guys in the near future. I'm like revamping it because we had animals that were added and I needed it, I need to update it basically. But I'll be showing you guys that soon, but I like to have that in a place that I also can find it easily. So I can also grab that with the emergency kit. So those are really the three parts to having my emergency plan. So I'm gonna show you guys more about that now. Okay, so, let me explain to you guys how we're getting the carriers ready. So basically for my emergency plan, number one step is to have carriers ready to go. So we like to have these ready to go during tornado season in our area in case we need to take everyone downstairs to our basement. We didn't do it as early this year as we normally do. We usually have them ready to go, but I did bring them all up here just in case. So they have been up here. However, we are prepping them because we have more pets than we've had in the past. So this used to be this blue on the bottom. This was our original carrier when I had the first two girls. This carrier somebody at work gave me for free. This is the carrier we use for the bunnies because it's the biggest one. So I have this one with the handle. This one is just like a really crappy pet store cage. And then because we have so many pairs of animals now, so we have Johnny and June, so that's one pair. Belle and Callie, or Lily and Callie, um, that's another pair. And then Georgie and Jellybean is another pair. Then we have the pair of bunnies, and then we have Snickers Mouse. So we need separate carriers to keep all the pairs separate. So, like I said, this is for the bunnies. This one we're actually probably not going to need, so I'm keeping it just in case because it works really well for vet trips but that one we're not gonna need. And then these two tubs, I'm actually turning into carriers because it's gonna be a lot easier. So let me just show you guys. And then we do have another carrier I'm going to grab that has a handle on the top. Okay, so I went and got the other one. So we have this one and these two bins that are gonna be for guinea pigs. And then we have that big one that is for the bunnies. And then Snickers doesn't really need a carrier because you can just pick up and move her entire cage because it's one of these tubs. So I'm gonna show you guys how I prep these tubs to be carriers. 
Okay, so I'm gonna start setting up these carriers to be all ready to go. You can see there's like old fleece in that one and then there's like nothing in these. So I'm gonna set these up so that they're ready to go and show you guys that and then I'll explain the lids to these bins because obviously they don't have lids right now. I'll show you that and explain how I do that. Okay, so in each carrier you guys just saw, I did put towels down in the bottom of these two just because I didn't want to use up all of my fleece and towels would work fine. And then I put a little pile of hay just so that they're ready to go. Same thing, these two have fleece pads in them and then I did put a little bit of hay in each of those as well. So again, just so that I'm not confusing you guys, this white one is for the bunnies. This is for one of the pairs of guinea pigs and then each of these is for a pair of guinea pigs as well. Okay, so now I can show you guys how the lids work for these carriers, bins turned into carriers. So I will link the video that I have on my channel talking about how to make bin cages, but essentially these are bin cages and I got bins with the snap locking lids on them for safety. Again, these are carriers, they are not cages. Um, this is not big enough for guinea pigs to live in by any means, but it works for an emergency carrier situation. I still have one more of these lids to make, so I'm going to show you guys kind of briefly how I do it. I'm not going to explain it, but I'll show you how I'm going to do it. And then that is pretty much our setup for our emergency plan. We now officially have four carriers ready to go plus the little blue one. So that is enough for all of the pets, the three pairs of guinea pigs, the bunnies, Snickers mouse, you just pick up her tubs since she's in one of these. So that worked out really well. These tubs will last us a while because they won't really get used. So this is perfect. So that is our whole setup for carriers for our emergency plan. Okay, so I want to explain to you guys my plan for our emergency kit. So I will link the video where I go through our emergency kit and what is in these drawers. But basically, in the event of an emergency, I need to grab this drawer and this drawer. 
So obviously it's not convenient to like literally grab a drawer. So what I have, try not to swing you guys around too much. So I have this bag that I threw up here. So my plan is if I need to grab our emergency kit, I will get this bag and then I will just dump the drawers into the bag. So I'll just pull the drawers out. They're kind of hard to pull out, but in an emergency, like I can make it work and then just dump them into the bag. So I will have everything that I could need. And then I'll just get this one as well because it has our recovery food and stuff in it. So I would like to have my emergency kit with us in the event of an emergency, obviously because it's an emergency kit, but you never know what could happen, especially if there like actually was a tornado or a fire or something. I would just want to have everything on hand that I could possibly want. So my plan is to just, like I said, grab that bag, dump the drawers in there. And then normally right here between these two, these two bins is our pet care notebook. It's not here right now because like I said, I'm working on redoing it and updating it, but that's normally where it lives. So I can also just grab that really easily and have all of our information. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you found it helpful and gets you thinking about your own pet emergency plan. This isn't applicable to everyone in every area. It kinda just depends on if you have emergencies like this, but it's always a good idea to be thinking of something like a house fire. So I just thought this would be a good thing to share with you guys. So let me know what you guys think down below if you have a plan for your pets and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.